Good evening, McDonald families. This is Mr. Ortiz. And I just wanted to take some time tonight to go over the MAP student profile reports that all kindergarten through fifth grade children came home with today. And for kindergarten, first and second grade, it was only the math scores that you would receive for the student profile. And for third, fourth and fifth grades, it was reading and math. And I just wanted to go over what you can expect when looking at the report. So in terms of what it looks like, and I'm, I'm showing you my daughter's report from last year. So what you have, you get the student's name, and this is the math report. You get the, the big number here, which is the overall RIT score. And then it's broken down into four different areas. So that you see here, uh, Adriana from last year had an overall score of a 238. And in her four areas, which were algebraic concepts, geometry, numbers and operation, and data and probability, she showed a relative strength in data and probability and an area of focus in terms of algebraic concepts. So she had a 245, which was higher than her overall RIT score for data and probability, but a 228, which was her lowest of the scores in the four domains compared to her overall RIT. So to me, as a teacher and as a parent, she was uh, working on algebraic concepts. And we used web-based platforms at home, like IXL and Khan Academy, which we also use here at school. But at home, Adriana would practice working on algebraic concepts to build that area up a little bit. And then on the side here, you see the norms percentile for MAP, because the MAP testing is a standardized and a norm test and so in terms of growth Adriana was in the 52nd percentile which was really good overall achievement was 85 85th percentile which was very good high growth high achievement which is what we would like to see um, up here it gives us a bunch of information in terms of rapid guessing there's an algorithm to suggest whether or not she's guessing um, and it will give us a, a number if that were the case she wasn't because it has NA um, it'll give you an impact on her score if she were guessing and then it also gives uh, it gives you the name of the, the test It gives you how long it took her to take the test 74 minutes and a possible range of the 235 to 241 Which she was right in the middle of and then on the other side Now yours are most likely in color you'll see a progression of the map testing and then for her and on your child's growth over time report, you'll see, especially if you're in third, fourth, or fifth grade, what you'll see is it'll give you an idea of what they're supposed to be scoring, projected, I should say, for PSSA testing later on this year. So Adriana was projected to be proficient in math. And then it gives you a historical look dating back to as long as when the first time it was. So for the boys and girls who are in K1 and 2 taking the math part, once they get to fifth grade, you're going to see years of information for the data piece. And so just want to give you an FYI in terms of that. So that is the math. And now in, for reading, and here's Adriana's reading from last year. Very similar. You get the overall RIT score, and then it's broken down into three areas, reading informational text, reading literature, and then vocab acquisition and use. So Adriana's overall RIT score was a 221. And then you can see, comparatively speaking, she was relatively strong with vocab acquisition and use. Reading informational text was an area where she needed to improve upon. Her overall achievement was good in the 68th percentile, but her growth was only in the 4th percentile. So right there, that tells me she had low growth, high achievement. And even though she's already starting off as a high achievement, we still want to boost that up. We're always looking to support the students who need support, push the students who need to be pushed, but also keep having the boys and girls who are at the top pushing them as well. Um, again, on the other side, you see you see a historical aspect of all the tests that uh, she had taken, and you'll see that for your child. What I also appreciate is that it gives you a Lexile range where it'll tell you about what they're reading in terms of uh, their independent reading ability. And so for Adriana, she was at a fifth grade level, 5.7, which is really toward the third part of the fifth grade year. 
to uh, the sixth grade year. So a range for that. So you'll see a Lexile range for your child there. Also, let's see here. Again, the information in terms of text, the test. Uh, was there any guessing? If so, what impact did it have on the score? How long did she take? It gives you some highlights that you can read there. A very, a, a very thorough report to give you a snapshot. And this information, amongst other things, provides us information to really uh, create targeted uh, instruction to, to be specific in terms of what we're going to be doing to improve all the boys and girls and give them a more individualized path to um, instruction and achievement. So I just wanted to touch base with you, put together this little video that will hopefully serve as a helpful tool so that you can get a better snapshot as to where we are right now after the winter benchmark assessment piece that we just wrapped up about a week ago. If you have any questions, please reach out to your teacher, reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all of your questions. Have a great night, everyone, and we'll see you on Thursday because we're off tomorrow on January 29th for a teacher in service day. Have a great night.